Hey guys, it's Hunting Pros here and today I'm going to show you how to tie a rabbit snare. So today I'm using Backwoods Brass Snare Wire and 22 gauge. And as you can see it's pretty cheap, it was about $1.99. Um, you can also use stainless steel wire or copper wire. For tools I'd recommend using a tape measure and I'd also recommend using a pair of needle nose pliers. You're going to want to start by cutting your snare wire between 20 and 23 inches long. So now what you're going to want to do after you have your one piece is around an inch to about two inches from the bottom you're going to want to make a loop like so. You're going to want to continue around and you're going to want to start twisting it. When you're done it should look something like this. Now that you have that tied what you're going to want to do is make a loop, a giant loop like so you're going to want to take it and put it through the hole. And as you can see it makes like a noose. I'll zoom out so you can see. It makes a noose. Now that you have that through you're going to want to make another tie like that up on the other end like so. So it's the exact same thing but up on the other end. Lastly when you're done it should look like so with a loop there and a loop at the top. An optional step is to add a piece of string into that loop and you know a lot of people do that as they like hang it from trees and stuff down on the rabbit trails. Now if you weren't going to use that string I'd recommend using a longer piece of snare wire so that you know you can still hang it like a good distance and everything. But you know I tend to do it either way. You can use a string or you can just use a longer piece of wire. And if you're going to use a longer piece of wire instead of doing you know between like 20 and 23 inches I would recommend going with maybe 28 or 29 inches just so you have a longer piece of snare wire. I hope this helped a lot guys and you know I'd love to have some feedback so let me know. Have a good one.